Hi friends, welcome to my channel. I'm Juan the Yarn Addict and this is week number three of my fall crochet along for what I am calling the Autumn Aspirations Throw. To date we've completed 26 rounds in the square and for this week we will turn our work 45 degrees and create corners on the diagonal, otherwise known as the bias of our work. So this is what it looks like. So for week three we will have 18 rows. Our setup for week three will begin under stitch number 47 in round number 25. So this white row here is row number 26 or round number 26. So we will be working in the round right before the last round. Okay. So for week three, we will begin under stitch number 47 in round 25. Be sure to count your stitches from the corner to the center before placing your stitch marker. I would also suggest counting from the opposite corner just to make sure you are in fact centered and ready to begin week number three. So feel free to color change as often as you'd like. You do not have to follow my color sequence. Above all, make sure you're having fun with your project. Okay, so links to the videos for weeks one and two are located in the show notes for you to reference. Each weekly pattern is available for a free download during the duration of the cow. So at the conclusion of the cow, this may be subject to change. Please check my Ravelry for the most up-to-date information. Before we begin, just a few short reminders to not forget to hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit like and also share the video. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get this tutorial started. Enjoy and have fun. Okay, so once you have your stitch marker placed where it's supposed to be, which is between 47 and 48, we're going to take our project and turn it so that the back is facing up. We're going to flip it over, just like that, and we are going to be working the stitch directly underneath the stitch marker. So for me, it's right here, and we are going to anchor our yarn to that stitch. So. To begin, what we need to do is create a slip knot on our hook. So however you do this is absolutely fine. This is how I do it. Once you have your slip knot, we're going to go in and around the stitch. We're going to yarn over, pull through, and we're going to slip right into our slip knot, just like that. From here, we are going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. From here, we are going to go into the first chain with the tip of our hook, draw a loop, and slip to close. And we have a very small circle. We are going to work our project out of this circle here, okay? So from here, what we need to do is chain uh, one, just like that. And now what we need to do is front post slip stitch into the next three stitches. So directly next door here, we're going to go in and around, draw a loop and slip. There's one slip and then make sure your tension is nice and tight. Go into the next stitch, slip, that's two, go into the next one and slip, that's three. Okay. So we have three front post slip stitches. And from here, what we need to do is chain one and turn our work. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's turn our work over to the front. And so this is what it should look like. And so from here, what we're going to do is we're going to call these rows. So for week three, we are going to work rows since we are creating a corner here. Okay. So keep this folded down so you can see what's going on while you're in the front. So for row number one, we are going to do three double crochets into this chain space. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. Just very carefully find your center of the circle there. Let's go ahead and do double crochets, three of them, that's one, that's two, and that's three. From here, we're going to chain two, 
and we're going to go back into this circle here with three more double crochets. One, two, and three. Okay? So from here, what we need to do is skip the next three stitches and then back post slip stitch into the next three stitches after that. So let's just recap that. Let's move that tail out of the way. All right. So here's the stitch marker, right? So we are going to skip, skip, and skip. We're skipping those three. From here, we're going to go into the next one here and back post slip stitch into this stitch here. So we're going to go in and around, draw a loop, and slip, just like that. There's one. We're going to do it again in the next stitch. Go in and around, draw up a loop, and slip. That's two. Let's go in and around, draw a loop very carefully, and slip. That's three. So from here, we are going to chain one and turn our work. Okay, so as you notice, we are anchoring our stitches as we go along, okay? So for row number two, we're working in the back side, okay? So for row number two, we're going to insert three double crochets in the very first double crochet of the previous round. So this stitch right here is the first double crochet. So let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit so we can see this a little closer. So we are going to insert three double crochets in this very first stitch here. It's one, two, and three. We're going to insert one double crochet in the next two stitches. Just like that. And then in the apex here, the chain space, we're going to insert two doubles, chain two, and two doubles. So that's one double. That's two doubles. We're going to chain two. And we're going to go right back into our apex, that chain space there, with two more double crochets. From here, we are going to go ahead and insert one double in the next two stitches here. And then in the last double crochet, we're going to go ahead and insert three double crochets in that stitch. One, two, and three. So that is what we are looking like so far. And then from here, we are going to skip the next three stitches and then front post slip stitch into the next three stitches. So from here, we are going to just look for our stitches. As you can see, that's where we were last at there. So skip, skip, and skip. And then we are going to front post slip stitch in the fourth one here. So we're going to go in and around, drop a loop, and slip to close. There's one. There's two. And there's three. So there you have it. That is the end of row number two. To start row number three, what we need to do is chain one and turn our work. We are going to be working on the front. Okay. So for row number three, we are going to insert three double crochets in the first stitch here. So this is the first stitch, three double crochets. One, two, 
and three. So we are going to skip one stitch and we're gonna go into the next stitch with a popcorn. So the popcorn is five double crochets in that stitch here. Let's go ahead and do that. One, two, three, four, and five. So we have five doubles there. I'm gonna make a bunny ear. I'm gonna to come to the first one. I'm gonna go in the bunny ear, tug on my working yarn, slip through, chain one to lock, just like that. Okay, we're also going to chain one to move on. And we are going to skip the next stitch, go into the next one here with a popcorn. Five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. I'm gonna make a bunny ear. I'm gonna go into the first stitch, go into the bunny ear, gently tug on our working yarn, slip, chain one to lock, chain one to move on. I'm going to skip the next stitch and I'm gonna insert a popcorn in the last stitch there. Five double crochets. There we go. I'm gonna make a bunny ear. I'm gonna go into the first stitch, go into the bunny ear, slip to close, chain one to lock, chain one to move on. And then in the apex, we're going to do two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. Two doubles, chain two, and we're going to go back into our apex with two doubles. One and two, just like that. Okay, very, very nice. So we are going to go into this very next stitch here with a popcorn. Five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Make a bunny ear, go into the first stitch, go into the bunny ear, tug on the working yarn, pull through, chain one to lock, chain one to move on, skip the next stitch, go into the following stitch with a popcorn. Three, four, and five. Make a bunny ear. Go in, pull the working yarn, chain one to lock, chain one to move on. We are going to skip the next stitch, go into the next one here with a popcorn. It's two, three, four, and five. Chain one to lock, chain one to move on. We are going to skip the next stitch and go into the last one with three double crochets. One, two, and three. So let's just take a quick look at our work here. And this actually will become the lip that covers all of the anchors, okay? It's very, very nice. Okay, so from here, I'm going to change color. So while you're working week three, when you do your color changes, you're gonna to have to change color right at your last stitch, okay? So I'm going to pull my hook out. I'm going to pull that last stitch out. I'm going to insert my hook and I'm going to yarn over 
go into that last stitch, draw a loop, yarn over, go through two only. And from here, I'm going to change my color. So I will be going to my olive color. I'm going to hook my new yarn and pull through the last two loops, just like that. And from here, I'm going to tie my tails. So I'm just gonna cut and tie my tails just like that. Okay, so from here, we are going to just pull more yarn first. Okay, so from here, we are going to skip the next three stitches. So this is where we were last anchored at. We're going to skip, skip, skip. And then we're going to go into the fourth stitch with a back post slip stitch. And we're going to slip just like that. Okay. So we are going to um, back post slip stitch into the next three stitches. So there's one. Let's grab that second one there. That's two, and that's three. Okay, so from here, we are going to chain one and turn our work. Lots of turning happening. <laughs> okay, so from here, what we are going to do for row four we are going to insert three double crochets in the very first stitch. That's one, two, and three. So from here, what we're going to do is insert a double crochet cross in the next two stitches. So we're gonna yarn over, go into this second stitch with a double, yarn over and come back to the skipped stitch to perform that double crochet cross, just like that. From here, we are gonna go and perform another double crochet cross, but this time it's gonna be around each popcorn, okay? Let's go to the far side, and then come to the near side with a double. And it creates that double crochet cross. So let's go ahead and do that again. There's two. We're going to go ahead and do that again around this popcorn. Just like that. Okay. So we are going to go ahead and do another uh, double crochet cross into these two stitches here. And then in the apex, we are going to go ahead and do two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. One, two, chain two, and swivel around here. We're going to go into our apex with two doubles. From here, we're going to insert a double crochet cross in the next two stitches. And then from here, around each one of these three popcorns. There's one cross. There's two. And then three. Okay. Let's get my yarn situated here. Okay. 
So we have three stitches remaining and we're going to perform a double crochet cross in the first two stitches here. Just like that. From here, we're going to insert three double crochets in the last stitch. And there's the third one there. Okay. Very, very nice. So from here, we are going to skip the next three stitches. Let me just reorganize here. All right, so we are going to skip the next uh, two stitches actually, sorry. So we're going to skip the next two stitches and then we are going to front post slip stitch into the next three stitches. So skip two, go into the third one, front post slip, just like that, front post, slip, front post, slip, just like that, okay? So from here, what we wanna do is uh, chain one and turn. Okay, so that is what we are looking like so far. Okay, so for row number five, we're going to angle our work just like this. And we are going to go into this very first stitch with three double crochets. It's one, two, and three. From here, we're going to go in between the next two stitches. So we're going to do uh, twins in a stitch, but in between. So it's two double crochets right in between. It's one, and that's two, just like that. From here, we're going to go inside each one of these crosses with two double crochets. So from here, we're just going to jump right into the cross with a double crochet. And then we're going to go back in with another one. Twins in the crosses. Just like this. There we go. Perfect. One and Two. We're going to go into the next one here with twins. And then for these last two stitches, we're going to go in between them with two doubles. Just like that. In the apex, it's going to be two double crochets. One, two. Chain two, we're going to swivel our work around. Then we're going to go back into the apex with two double crochets. From here, we're going to go in between these two double crochets with two double crochets. One and two. From here, we're going to repeat what we did on this side here. We're going to go inside these crosses with two double crochets a piece. That's one completed. So there's one double. Here's the second one. And here's another pair. I'm just gonna keep going down the side here, inserting two doubles inside of every cross. Yep. 
little splitty there. Okay. So from here, once your crosses are done, we're at the cluster of three doubles. So we're going to jump right in between the first two. And inside there, we're going to insert two double crochets. From here, we're going to go to the last stitch of the row with three double crochets. It's one. That's two. And for this third one, I'm only going to do it halfway because I am going to change color. So just like that. Okay. So the color I am going to change to <clears throat> is gold. Let me just grab my color here. I'm going to hook the new color on, slip it through. And as always, I'm going to tie my tails. So that concludes row number five. Okay, so before moving on to row number six, what we need to do is anchor our stitches. So from here, what we need to do is skip the next two stitches. And we're gonna anchor into the third stitch with a back post slip stitch. So we're gonna come in and around the back and do our slip just like that. Just mind your tension, make sure it's nice and tight. We're going to go into the next one. Very carefully. It's a little tricky. It may take you a try or two in order to get it. There we go. There's two. And let's go in and around a third time in that third stitch. There we go. So we've anchored three stitches. From here, what we, need, what we need to do is chain one and turn our work. So for row six, we are going to be working in the back. Okay, so for row number six, we're gonna insert three double crochets in the first stitch. There's one. There's two. And there is three. From here, we're going to insert a front post double crochet in each stitch until the apex. So every stitch, front post double crochet. So continue on with this, inserting a front post double crochet in each stitch until we get to the apex. And I'll see you right here in just a moment. Okay, so I am at the apex here. And in the apex, we are going to insert two double crochets, chain two, and then two double crochets right back into that apex. Just like that. From here, we're going to continue inserting front post double crochets in every stitch until we get to the last stitch. So continue on with this, inserting a front post double crochet in each stitch for this particular side until we get to the last stitch. And I shall see you there in just a moment. Okay, so I've arrived at the end of the row. I have one stitch remaining. And in this stitch, I'm going to insert three double crochets. One, two, and I'm going to be changing colors. So I'm only going to do half of this stitch. So I'm going to yarn over, go in, drop a loop, yarn over, only go through two. And I'm going to pull my new color through here. 
going to change over to this wonderful color here. And of course, I'm going to tie my tails. Okay, so now that I have my new color on here, I'm going to skip the next two stitches, so one and two, and then from here, I'm going to front post slip stitch in the next two stitches. So skip two, and then front post slip stitch. One, and two. From here, we're going to chain one and turn the work. Okay. All right. Let me just move the tails out of the way there. Okay. So from here, for row number seven, what we want to do is insert three half double crochets in the very first stitch of the three here. I'll just move that out of the way there. So three half double crochets, one, two, and three. Perfect. So from here, we're going to insert one half double crochet in the back loop of each stitch until we get to the apex. So half double crochet in the back loop, just like that. So continue on with this until we get to the apex, and I shall see you there in just a moment. Okay, so I've arrived at the apex, and in the apex, we are going to insert two half double crochets, chain two, let's swivel our work just a tad, and then go back into that apex with two half double crochets, one and two. From here, we're going to continue inserting uh, half double crochets in the back loop of each stitch. So yarn over, go right into that first stitch, just like that. So continue doing this until we get to the last stitch of the side and I should meet you there in just a second. Okay, so I have arrived to the last stitch and in the last stitch here, we're going to insert three half double crochets. There's one, there's two, and I am going to be changing my color. So I'm only going to do half of this stitch. I've already cut off because I plan on changing. So I'm going to yarn over, go in, pull that loop through and leave it as is, just like that. And I'm going to bring over my next color. I'm going to be putting on claret. I'm going to go through all three loops just like that, and then I'm going to tie my tail. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So from here, what we need to do is anchor this row. So from here, what we need to do is skip the next two stitches. So this was the last stitch worked. We're going to skip the next two. Then we're going to go into this third stitch here with the back post slip stitch. Let's go in and around the stitch. And slip. And just pull nice and tight on your working yarn there to make sure that it's anchored. And then we're going to go next door here. In and around. And slip. And then come back down and around for a third time. 
Sometimes it will slip off. It's a little tricky. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So from here, we're just going to chain one and turn our work. But before I do, let me just give you a quick look. Look at how nice that is looking. Super, super nice. Love that. Okay. So let's go ahead and turn our work to the back side. Okay. Don't mind the tails. I will sew them in eventually. <laughs> Okay, so for row eight, we are going to insert three double crochets in the first stitch right here. Three doubles. One, two, and three. Three double crochets. From here, we're going to work into the next two stitches. We're going to do a double crochet two together. So yarn over, go in, drop a loop, yarn over, go through two. We're going to do that one more time next door. From here, uh, you should have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, go through all three, and chain one to lock that. And then we're going to come next door here and do that all over again. And chain one to lock. So continue doing this all the way down the side until we get to the apex. I should see you there in just a moment. Just like that. Okay, I'll see you in just a second. Okay, so I am right before the apex. I have one stitch right there, and then I have the chain space. So, uh, to get around the apex here, this is what this is going to look like. So we are going to perform a double crochet of two together, partially on the side and partially in the apex. So, we're gonna yarn over, go into that stitch, drop a loop, Yarn over, go through two, and then go into the apex to do the second one there. Just like that. We're going to yarn over, go through all three, chain one to lock that, and then in the apex, it's going to be one double crochet, chain two, and then one double crochet. Just like that. So I'm going to swivel my work over to this side now. And from here, we are going to work a double crochet two together, starting in the apex. So we're going to uh, chain one, like we did on this side, and then yarn over and go into that apex and start the first half of the double crochet two together, and then go right into that first stitch right here. Three loops on the hook, yarn over and go through all three, just like that. And that's what the apex should look like. Nice, even, and balanced. Okay? So, from here, we are going to continue doing double crochet two together for the side here. So continue doing that until you get to the very last stitch right here. Okay? So let's back up here and just work the double crochet two together. Like so, like that without slipping preferably. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so continue doing that and I will see you at the end of the row, right back here in just a moment. Okay, so I've arrived to the end of the row here and in the last stitch, we are gonna go ahead and insert three double crochets. I do plan on changing color. We're gonna go to the white, so here is one double, here's two, and then I'm only going to do half of this one here. I've already cut off. So let's go in and drop a loop. Yarn over and only go through two. So from here, as I mentioned, I'm going to switch over to the white. Let me hook the white through. There's two loops. And then I'm going to tie my tails. Perfect. Okay, now we need to anchor the row. So, okay, now I have that out of the way. Perfect. Okay, so to anchor the row, what we need to do 
is skip the next two stitches. Skip, skip. And then we're gonna go into this third one here uh, with a front post slip stitch into the next three stitches. So we're gonna go in and slip. Let's just tug, make sure it's nice and tight. So that's one, that's two, and that's three. Perfect. So we're gonna chain one and turn our work. We're gonna go to the front side. Okay. So for row number nine, we're gonna go ahead and insert three double crochets in the very first stitch of the row, which is right here. I know it's kind of hard to see, but three double crochets in the first stitch. One, two, and three. Perfect. So we're gonna insert a front post double crochet in the second stitch from the previous row. So right here. Second stitch, front post, double crochet, just like that. Okay, so now from here, we're going to insert a popcorn in between the double crochet two together from the previous row, chain one to lock only. So right here, in this space, we're going to insert a popcorn. So a popcorn is five double crochets, it's two, three, four and five. We're going to make a bunny ear and then we're going to go ahead and insert our hook into that first stitch, go in the bunny ear, tighten up our tension and go through and chain one to lock only. From here, we're going to insert a V stitch, a double crochet, chain one, double crochet in the next space right here. And it should look like that okay so from here we're going to go right back over to a popcorn in the next space the next space right here a popcorn one two three four and five make a bunny ear go in the first stitch there Go in the bunny ear, go through, chain one to lock only. Okay, so let me pull more yarn here. Okay, from here we're going to go into the next space with a V-stitch. It's a double, chain one, and a double. So that's what it looks like, and you're going to alternate in between the spaces here. So it's going to be a popcorn, a V-stitch, a popcorn, a V-stitch. So continue doing this, and I will meet you at the apex in just a moment. Okay, so I've arrived to just before the apex here. I'm at the last double crochet two together, right before the apex. In this last space here, we're going to insert a V-stitch. So it's a double, chain one, and then a double just like that. So in the apex, we're gonna go ahead and insert two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. So that's one, that's two, chain two. We're gonna swivel our work. Go back into the space here with two doubles, just like that. Okay, so from here, we're going to do exactly what we have here but in the opposite direction so from here we're going to go into the space between the double crochet and the double crochet two together we're going to insert a v-stitch double chain one and a double from here we're going to go into the next space with a popcorn two three, four, and five. Make a bunny ear, go in the first, go in the ear, chain one to lock only. 
and then go into the next space with the V stitch. So that is the repeat for the side. And that's what it should look like. So continue repeating that pattern, popcorn V stitch, popcorn V stitch in every space for the side and I will see you at the end here in just a moment. Okay, so we are approaching the end of row number nine. I finished with the last popcorn and so from here what we need to do is insert a front post double crochet in this very first stitch of the last three. Perfect. And so from there, what we want to do is jump right over to the last stitch, which is right here. It's kind of hard to say, but in the last stitch, we're going to insert three double crochets. One, two, and three. Just like that. Perfect. Very, very nice. Okay. So for the next row, row number 10, we are going to keep the same color on and we are going to go ahead and anchor uh, row nine first. So what we're going to do is skip two stitches. So we last worked in that one there. So we're going to skip two stitches and then we are going to do a back post slip stitch in the next one. Let's go ahead and slip just like that. All right, and then we're gonna back post slip stitch into the next one. Just like that. From here, we're gonna chain one and turn our work. Okay, lots of turning. <laughs> okay, so for row number 10, we are in the back, by the way. We're working in the back. So for row number 10, we're going to start with three single crochets in the first stitch. So there is the first stitch right there. Three singles. One, two, and three. Just like that. Okay. So we're going to insert one single crochet in each stitch and each chain space until the apex. So every single stitch and every chain space receives a single crochet. So that was the front post and then in the popcorn, we're just going to go in the popcorn and out the top, come through, just do that. And then here's the V-stitch. So in the V-stitch, it's going to be a single. And then in the chain space, a single. And then on the other side of the V, a single. Go in and up the popcorn, single. And then in the V. Okay, so continue doing this. Inserting one single crochet in every stitch and every chain space for the side. And it should look like that. And I will see... At the apex in just a moment okay so i am approaching the apex here i have two stitches remaining here so what we want to do is go ahead and insert a single in both of those stitches in the apex it's going to be two single crochets chain two let's swivel our work In the apex here, two singles, one and two. And in the next two stitches, one single a piece, one and two. Oops. Just like that. Okay. So continue inserting single crochets into every stitch and every chain space for the side. And I will meet you down here at the very end of the row in just a moment. Okay, so I have arrived at the end of row number 10. I have one stitch remaining, and to save us time, I've already tied on the next color. So we are going to go ahead and insert three singles into the last stitch. Again, I've changed colors, so if you are changing colors, by all means, go ahead and do that. Make sure to tie your tails. Okay, 
So from here, what we need to do is anchor row number 10. So to do that, what we need to do is skip the next two stitches. So one, two, and then we're gonna go into the third stitch here and do a front post slip stitch. Just pull on your tension, make sure it's nice and tight. We're gonna do that two more times. One and two. From here, we're gonna chain one and turn our work. So we're going back to the front side. Let's move the tail out of the way there. Okay, so three double crochets into the very first stitch. One, two, and three. So from here, we're going to insert an extended front post double crochet in the first stitch from row number nine. So this is row 10, this is row nine. So we're going to yarn over, come down and around, draw a loop, Oops. draw a loop, yarn over, go through one, go through two, go through two. From here, we're going to insert a double crochet in the next stitch. And then in this third stitch here, we're going to insert the same stitch as this one here, an extended front post double crochet. Okay. So from here, we are going to do what's called an extended front post double crochet cross. So we are going to yarn over, come to this side of the popcorn and pick up this stitch, which is the closest side to the popcorn of the V-stitch. We're gonna go in and around, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through one, go through two, go through two. From here, we're going to chain one, and then we are going to pick up this stitch right here. This is the front post double crochet from row nine. Yarn over, come down and around, and do an extended front post double crochet. Go through one, go through two, go through two. And that's what it should look like. From here, we're gonna go into the stitch right above the V-stitch, which is right here. And we are going to insert a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. So a V-stitch. From here, we are going to repeat this process right here. So here's the popcorn. We're going to pick up this stitch and this stitch. We're gonna cross them over. So yarn over, come down and around, pick this stitch up right here. Yarn over, go through one, through two, through two. Chain one, and then pick this stitch up. Yarn over, come over, draw a loop. Yarn over, go through one, through two, through two. In the V-stitch, the single right above, we're going to insert a V-stitch. Double, chain one, double. And that's what it should look like, okay? So repeat this process all the way up the side, and I will meet you right before the apex right here, okay? Again, it's picking up these posts and across and then in the stitch right above in the v-stitch it's going to be a v-stitch here okay so continue with this and i will see you in just a moment okay so i have arrived to just before the apex here and this is what we are looking like super super nice okay so from here, we are going to insert an extended front post double crochet cross in this stitch and in this stitch here. So we are going to yarn over, come down and pick up the last stitch here and do an extended double crochet. We're going to chain one and then we are going to pick up this stitch right here, which is the other side of that V stitch. Just come down and pick that up. 
do an extended front post double crochet just like that so from here we're going to jump right to the apex this chain space with two double crochets chain two let's swivel our work and we are going to go back into that chain space with two double crochets Perfect. Okay, so for this side here, we're going to mirror what we just did. So we have the first three stitches here from row nine. We're going to create this extended front post double crochet cross. So we're going to yarn over, pick up this third stitch, do an extended double crochet front post, of course, and then chain one. Then yarn over and come and pick up this last stitch. Extended front post double crochet. And it should look like that. From here, we're going to go to the single crochet in that V stitch and perform a V stitch. It's going to be a double, chain one, and a double. And then from here, we are going to continue with the extended front post double crochet crosses on either side of the popcorns. And then in the V-stitch, that single crochet will now get a V-stitch, double crochet, chain one, double. So let's go ahead and do one very quickly. So front post extended double crochet cross, chain one. Let's come to this side here. Go through one, through two, through two. Super nice. And then from here, we're gonna go into that single with a double, chain one, and a double. Okay, so continue with that, and I shall see you at the end of the row right here in just a moment. Okay, so I have arrived towards the end of row number 11, and this is what it looks like. Tons of texture. It's very, very nice. It might just be one of my favorite rows so far. Okay, so let's continue on doing the extended front post double crochet cross around the popcorn. So let's go ahead and pick this up. Do that, chain one, and then come to this side here. Front post extended, double crochet cross, just like that. And so from here, what we're going to do is an extended front post double crochet, picking up this very first stitch here. Through one, through two, through two. From here, we're going to go into the next stitch right here with a double crochet. And then from here, we're going to this last stitch of row number nine with an extended front post double crochet. One, two, and two, just like that. From here, we're going to go into the last stitch of the row with three uh, double crochets. One, two, and three, just like that. Okay, so now we need to anchor row 11 to our work. So to do that, what we need to do is skip the next two stitches, go into the third stitch here with a back post slip stitch. So there's one, make sure your tension's tight. Go to the next one, draw a loop. That's two. Come next door here, and there's three. So from there, we're gonna chain one and turn our work to the back side. Okay. So for row number 12, we are going to do half double crochets. To start, we're going to go into the very first stitch with three half double crochets. 
There's one, there's two, and there's three. So every stitch on the side will receive a half double crochet, excluding the chain spaces, okay? So if it's a stitch, it's getting a half double crochet, just like this. Now, the double crochet crosses, the extended front post double crochet crosses, they had a chain space in between. We're not going to insert a stitch there. So on either side of that chain, for the crosses, and then in the Vs, only the stitches, okay? Everything gets a half double crochet. So continue on with this and I shall see you at the apex in just a moment, right here. Okay, so I have arrived at the apex, and in the apex it's going to be two half doubles, chain two, we're gonna swivel our work, and we're gonna go back into that apex with two half doubles, one, and two. So from here, we're gonna continue on inserting half double crochet in every stitch of the row, excluding the chain spaces. Okay, so continue on with this and I shall see you at the end of the row. Okay, so I've arrived to the end of the row. This is what we are looking like here. Very, very nice. In the last stitch, we are going to insert three half double crochets. I am changing color after the third one. So there's one, there's two, and then for the third one, I'm just going to insert my hook and introduce or reintroduce a color here, gold or mustard rather. From here, I'm going to tie my tails. Okay. There's that. Okay. So now we need to anchor the row. So to do this, what we need to do is skip two stitches and front post slip stitch into the next three. So let's skip the next two, go into the third one here with the front post slip stitch to anchor that in, make sure it's nice and tight. Two. And three. From here, we are going to chain one and turn our work. Let's move the scissors out of the way. Okay. All right, so for row number 13, we're going to insert three double crochets in the first stitch. two, and three, just like that. From here, we're going to do, let's see, um, a back loop double crochet in each stitch until the apex. So each stitch will have a double crochet in the back loop, just like this, until we get to the apex. So continue on with that, and I shall see you down here in just a moment. Okay, so I have arrived at the apex here. And so uh, in the apex, we're going to insert two double crochets. One, two, chain two, and we're going to swivel around and go back into that apex there with two double crochets. 
one and two. From here, we just need to make sure that this very first stitch here gets an upstairs neighbor. So let's go ahead and pick up that back loop there. Just like that. And then continue on with the double crochets in the back loop. For every stitch. For the row. So continue on with this and I will see you at the end of the row in just a moment. Okay, so I have arrived at the end of the row. This is row number 13. I have one stitch remaining and in that stitch I'm going to go ahead and insert three double crochets. If I can get in there. There we go. One. Two. And three. Perfect. Okay, so we need to anchor this row down. And in order to do that, let's skip two stitches. And then we are going to do a back post slip stitch in the next three. So there's one, two, and three. Nice and tight on that tension. From here we're going to chain one and turn our work. I'm going to keep the color on for this next row. For row number 14, it is going to be a row of double crochets and front post double crochets. So in the first stitch right here, we're going to insert three double crochets. Just like that. Now in each stitch here, we are going to insert a front post double crochet in each stitch until we get to the apex. Just like this. Very easy. So continue inserting front post double crochets in every stitch until you get to the apex. And in the apex, it's going to be two doubles, chain two, and two doubles. So for good measure, continue with this and I will meet you at the apex in just a moment. Okay, so I have arrived at the apex right here for this is row 14. So in the apex, it's going to be two double crochets, chain two, swivel the work. We're gonna go back into that apex with two double crochets. From here, we're gonna continue doing the front post double crochets in each stitch until the end of the row. In the last stitch of the row, we will go ahead and insert three double crochets in the last stitch. So continue with this, and I shall see you at the end of the row. Okay, so I have arrived at the end of row number 14. With one stitch remaining, I'm going to go ahead and insert three double crochets. One, two, and then for this third one, I'm only going to do half because I'm changing colors. I'm going to bring back the green. All right. So let's go ahead and bring in the green. Slip that through and tie the tails. Just like that, very easy. Okay, so we now need to anchor row number 14. So to do that, we're gonna skip the next two stitches and then we're going to do, let's see here. We're gonna do a front post slip stitch into this third stitch. 
just like that. Let me go ahead and try that again. There we go. Okay. So there's that one, and then two more. One and two. Okay, so from here we're going to chain one and turn our work. Okay, so for row number 15, we are working in the front. This is the front of our work. And for the first stitch here, we are going to go ahead and insert three double crochets in the first stitch, which is right here. One, two, and three. Okay. So from here, we're going to skip the next stitch. Then we're going to go into the following one with double crochet twins. So it's going to be two double crochets in the same stitch. From here, we're going to go ahead and skip the next one and repeat until the apex. So it's just going to be twins in a stitch in every other stitch until the apex. This is a very easy row by all accounts, considering some of the rows we've had. Very, very easy. So twins in a stitch in every other stitch until we get to the apex. So continue with that and I shall see you in just a moment. Okay, so I am just before the apex with two stitches remaining. So we're going to skip a stitch and go into the last stitch there with twins in a stitch. And then in the apex, it's going to be two double crochets Chain two, we're going to swivel our work around and then go back into the apex there with two doubles, just like that. Okay, so in this very first stitch, we're going to go ahead and insert twins. And then we're going to repeat. So we're going to skip the next stitch and then go into the following one with twins in a stitch. Perfect. So twins in a stitch in every other stitch until the end of the row. Just like that. So continue on with that until we get to the end of the row. And I'll see you there in just a moment. Okay, I'm at the end of row number 15. So I did twins in a stitch. I'm gonna skip the next stitch and I should only have one stitch remaining, which I do. And in that last stitch, I'm gonna go ahead and insert three double crochets. Just like that. Perfect, very, very nice. Okay, so now we need to anchor row 15. So what we need to do now is skip the next two stitches. And then we need to do a back post slip stitch into the third. Just like that. And we need to pull on that tension, make sure it's nice and tight. And then from there, we're going to go ahead and do two more. Just two and three. So three back post slip stitches to anchor the row in, and then we're gonna chain one and turn our work. We're gonna keep this olive color on. And so for row 16, we're working in the back, and we're gonna go ahead and insert three doubles in the very first stitch. So it's one, two, and three. And so from here, we're gonna do double crochet crosses around all the twins um, until the apex. Okay, so of the three stitches, we have two remaining. So we're gonna do a double crochet cross around both of those. Oops. Two, 
Oops. Just like that. And then around each pairing of twins here. Double crochet across. Just like that. Going on the far side and then the near side, of course. And that's what it should look like. Okay, so continue on with that until we get to the apex. And I shall see you there in just a moment. Okay, so I have arrived uh, to the apex here. And in the apex, we're gonna go ahead and insert uh, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. So one double, two doubles, chain two, let's swivel the work. <clears throat> we're gonna go back in here with two double crochets. Okay, so from here, we are going to continue hugging the pairs of stitches with double crochet crosses. Just like that. Every pair gets a double crochet cross above it. Okay, so continue on with this, and I shall see you at the end of the row in just a moment. Okay, so I have arrived almost at the end of the row here. I have three stitches remaining. So I'm going to pair the first two of the three with a double crochet cross. Just like that. And then in the last stitch, three double crochets. I will be changing colors. So this third double crochet will only be done halfway. Just like that. Okay, I'm going to bring up the next color, which is going to be the cream. So I'm going to loop that in, just like that. I'm going to tie my tails. Let's pull this nice and tight. There we go. Oops. Okay, so from here we need to anchor uh, row number 16. So in order to do that, what we need to do is skip the next two stitches. Let's just, okay, here it is. Okay, skip, skip, go into the next one here. Front post slip stitch to that one and into the next two there we go and from here we're going to chain one and turn our work okay so for row number 17 three double crochets in the very first stitch Just like this. Okay, so from here, what we're gonna do is insert, uh, let's see here, two double crochets in each space uh, between the double crochet crosses until the apex. So from here, we're gonna jump right into this space with two double crochets. So twins next to the crosses. So one and two. And then from here, we're gonna jump into this space in between the crosses here with two doubles. Very simple. 
and we're just going to continue on with that two double crochets in between the crosses until we uh, arrive at the apex so continue with that and i shall see you at the apex right here in just a moment okay okay so i'm at the apex and in the apex we're going to go ahead and do two double crochets chain two two double crochets we're going to serve a lot of work and then go in with two double crochets just like that from here we're going to go ahead and go in between all of the spaces here with two double crochets twins in the spaces two double crochets in the spaces there so continue on with this and i shall see you at the end of the row okay so i've arrived to the end of the row here we have one stitch remaining and in that last stitch we're going to go ahead and insert three double crochets okay so from here what we need to do is anchor uh, row number 17 and to do that we're going to do a back post slip stitch in the last stitch of the row there so we're going to come in and go out and slip perfect so from here what we want to do is chain two and turn our work so we're going to turn over to the back side here and so for the last row of the week, we are going to insert uh, front post half double crochets in every stitch. So for this very first one, we're only going to insert one and not three. Just like that. Front post half double crochet in every stitch until we get to the apex. So continue doing that, and I shall see you at the apex in just a moment. Okay, so I'm at the apex of the last row, and so in the apex we're going to go ahead and do two half double crochets, chain two, we're going to swivel our work, and we are going to go ahead and go back into that apex with two half double crochets, just like that. From here, we're going to continue inserting uh, front post half double crochets in every stitch of the row. So continue with that, and I will see you at the end of the row in just a moment. Okay, so I have arrived uh, to the end of the row here, and we're at the last stitch. So in the last stitch, we're only going to insert one uh, front post half double crochet, just like that. And from here, we need to anchor the last row. And to do that, we're going to go into the last stitch with a front post slip stitch. And I'm just going to slip like that. And from here, we're going to chain two. I'm going to grab the scissors, cut, pull the hook away from our work, pinch, and pull down to lock that in. And so those are all the rows for uh, week number three. So this here is the back. This is what the back looks like. Very, very nice. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and zoom out and flip the work over. And show you what this looks like. Of course, I have to sew in all the ends, but yeah, it's very, very nice. This is the square to the bias. That's very, very nice. Okay, so that is all for week three. I really hope that you enjoyed this. Um, if you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment or two, and also, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. I'd love to have you. So that is all for this one here, and until the next one, take care. Bye-bye.